So let's start uh, putting together our dot network for the uh, trails, right? So create a new dot network. Um, drop this down here and call this oops, trail uh, smoke. Great, dive inside, and same as before, so pyro solver, sparse, uh, give myself some room, uh, smoke object, sparse into the first port there, okay, and then volume source, oops, volume source, volume source, there we go into the third, yes. Okay, so let's find the that out that we just created. So in, it will be in smoke source, tail source, there we go. And as per usual, pretty much just always check that on. Um, we've got three, oops, three uh, different uh, volumes coming in. Right, so we've got uh, we've got velocity. Okay, um, we've got flame. Right, and we've also got uh, temperature. Now, oops, we do have obviously a density as well, but what I'm going to do is just emit density from the flame. So we'll have flame, um, you know, it'll be like uh, something on fire that's flying away from the from the um, explosion, and that will be. Um, like it's on fire, right? And you know, if it's on fire, then it's going to be emitting smoke as well. Um, let's take a look in here so that we can. Oh, I've changed the name by accident. Um, it's just smoke object, right? Something like that by default. Um, so yeah, for the visualization, we don't want to just see the density. We want to see this um, this flame field as well, right? So we turn on the multi field and um, dive into multi-field here and it's not set up by default so we need to do that so uh, yeah we've got this density on that's fine um, and then the density field we want to write in density which again will be generated by our um, flame so you know it'll be it will be emitting density from that we won't be sourcing in density and then in emission here for the emission scale we'll just put that to one for now whoops not 41 one I'll play around with these again in the moments probably and then the emission field will be flame and the color we'll use temperature okay so we should be able to see, ah, also we want to set the first frame to be 53, I believe, yeah, so, uh, which is the beginning of our explosion, right? So flame, frame 53, let's see if we see anything now. Let's go inside. We've got, we've seen something very light there, but you know, it's, it's doing something at least, <laughs> uh, but, admittedly not a lot so we also want to take this value and paste it into our into here so the voxel size where into there and there we go so that would be the same point one and also the um, this volume scatter the particle separation there we go, something like that. Looks fantastic. And what else do we want to do right now? Not much. Let's uh, well, let's just see that. Let's drop it down to 0.05. Let's say. Uh, 
again seeing something not much let's um, make sure that in flames here we want to turn on emit smoke um, and also temperature so from the flame field we'll get uh, smoke and we will get a temperature as well okay uh, here so let's see if we get any smoke from that still probably not a lot it looks like it's struggling let's try going uh, down a bit again 0.03 go back still not much let me see let's go into the uh, the visualization of this let's see if we can pull this out it might be just that the values there are a bit low um, or maybe if we actually go into the source I mean I'm gonna put this point of five for the moment and yeah I'm gonna go into the source maybe push the flame up to five give me some higher values there let's see there we go now we're seeing something so obviously we'll need sub steps there okay so you can see there where you know we got the emitter there it's emitting smoke and then uh, you know emitting smoke because of this and then it jumps to the next part it makes more smoke and and so on and so on so we will need to add some stub steps um to this no doubt uh but you know we'll take that as it comes maybe let's just try two for the moment there we go so you can kind of see where we're going with this um we've got the you know the flame at the top and that's emitting smoke and it's in its wake in the trail and behind it and obviously we'll go ahead and add some microsolvers to this in a moment to give it some noise and movement some turbulence um but yeah 